welcome to the municipality of Ketigbian. Right now, I am standing at the Bet and Choi Farm, where you can enjoy and experience happiness of nature and recreational activities. So now, I am touring you here. At my back is the fish and pay section. Yes, you can see there are a lot of fish ponds there. We have almost approximately six fish ponds. We have two kinds of fishes, the red and the black or the natural tilapian. Under that that big that big fish pond is a natural river. And and if you're just wondering why am I featuring Katigbian? Yes, obviously I am a Katigbianon and I'm so proud to tell you or narrate to you the short history of Katigbian. Um, why is Katigbian named Katigbian? So, this is the proof why. Katigbian is named Katigbian because of this grass, of this very green grass, because this grass is named Katigbi. This grows in the almost all, all the barangays of Katigbian. And, it's, and it symbolizes the, Kat, the Katigbian because like these seeds, we are united. We are in one force of making Katigbian a greener pasture, a greener, more productive municipality. And yes, that this new tourist spot is owned by a family or a clan, the clan of the mayor, Captain Roberto Salinas. And here we can enjoy fishing. Obviously, I'm bringing a fishing rod so it's available here it's not a problem if you haven't brought a fishing rod you can yes you can pick and pay for vegetables yes there are so many vegetables you can see and you can if you want to feed these these fishes yes you can because they have available feeds for you to experience a life in a farm or a life in a rural setting and there, you can see the bird sanctuary. You can see a lot of birds there. And there, you can see a wildlife observation. We have snakes, we have wild dogs, a lot, a lot of animals to be seen. And if you are interested to have dry picnics, this tourist spot is very open for that. And if you are willing to trek, trek go trekking on those mountains, yes, because it is so adventurous. You can you can embrace nature, and if if you are a scout, you can do camping. And yes, there you can see a lot of ducks swimming. And if you're here, you feel you just feel relaxed. You just feel nature. And yes, and I just want to inform you that this spot is having someday a swimming pool that is being constructed. So this is very enjoyable for everyone. It's enjoyable for the masses, for the kids, for the young people like us, for the adults, for the senior citizens. It's for everyone. And there, yes, we can see a pool tree. Life here, if you go here, you feel the rural aroma. You can feel the nature. You can feel the rural living. We can see different kinds of animals that you can see on the cities that we that we live so there there you can see the other ponds and it is well it is well irrigated it has many water because the water that is being maintained here is from the natural river so here this is I want you to see the wildlife hang out we can see the ibid the ibid yes there's there's a lot there there are monkeys there are Raccoon, there are yes, we call tingao, and there, there's a snake. It is being captured only here at Katigbian. They are very yes, our our wildlife here in the Philippines is so gifted, and we are more gifted here in Katigbian because we have a lot of species of different exotic animals. Yes. We have the milo, the how, everything you want to see. And so, that is just a little piece of excitement and enjoyment. 
So if you want to go here, visit here, why not? Because Katigbian is very hospitable and, and very welcome for your visit here. And for your information, it's just one of the many spots you can go or view in Katigbian. So we are so happy to see you soon. And it's Paul Emerson, Salinas Almontero, welcoming you someday if you will go here. And I'm signing off. Thank you.